What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we are located at Jaguar Land Rover of Bethesda because guess what we're reviewing today? A 2020 Land Rover Defender. Look at this beast guys. Land Rover, I like how you guys made this such a brutal, look how brutal this car is. It's like, I love that boxy shape on this Land Rover Defender. Like I love that Defender. I love saying Defender, the name of the Land Rover. So when you walk up, you have a nice uh, Defender logo, which is matched with the color of the car. Also, you have a Land Rover logo here. This is not a Range Rover, this is a Land Rover. And I like how the grill is just simple. There's no like lines or anything. It's just one, one simple line going through it. Nothing too like specific or anything. And then you have your, look, LED headlights and LED daytime running lights. Let me show you guys from this side. Look at that. That thing is so brutal. There's like a piece inside and then there's a, a, like circling it all around. Look at that, that's so clean, it's so nice. And then when we drop down, you have a camera over here for the parking. And I'll sh there are so many parking uh, cameras on this car, guys. Uh, there's like on every inch on this car, there's like a par parking, parking camera and the sensor too. And here you have the sensors on the uh, bumper, lower bumper. Here you got the fog lights. I like the design of like the circles. So uh, going all around it and guys look at this like flared fender from the front going to the side look at it it's so like like a wide body here on the hood it's like a cover but it's not a cover this is the molding for the hood it's plastic but I mean I like the design of like the like lines through it almost look like cubes too and then when we move on to the side you got the nice 20 inch wheels look at this Look at the matching, like look at the black wheels and then the black car, it's so like nice, a really good match. Like look at the calipers, the front calipers are so huge. It's almost like, like one quarter of the whole wheel is like caliper only. I like how there's a, also a Defender, it's upside down, you guys might not see it, but there's a Defender, like it says Defender, it's carved into the wheel. It's so nice guys, look. It's so huge and like Continental, it's like good for this off-roading car. This is like a off-roading luxurious car. In my opinion, this is actually better than a Jeep Wrangler. But I mean, when you guys see the price, you guys might think it's, it's uh, a Wrangler is better. But I mean, there are so many nice luxurious and off-roading features. Def Defender logo over there, it's carved into like a molding over here. Only this part is like single piece. This is actually functional, the vent. It's not a vent, it's functional over here. Here you have your mirror, and uh, you can, let me show you guys the key. There, and the bad thing is there's no remote starter. That's the one bad thing. There's probably only like one or two bad things on this car. You have your lock, unlock. This is to turn on the lights, but that only turns on the middle part, but look at it still. Let me just uh, turn it on actually. And then you have your open the tailgate and then uh, the emergency. So, and look, it's, it's the, and let me just show you guys the, and look, this this is actually really cool. I haven't seen that while I'm reviewing any car. Let me turn on the, let's see if I can, all right, let's see. Oh, there we go. But the inside part is not lighting up, but still, look at that. Look at the cubes on this side. Look, that's so nice, guys. You can't imagine how cool this headlight is. I'm, I'm in love with this headlight. Let me actually turn it off. There we go. Oh. <laughs> it's actually really cool. Thank you for stopping people. Okay. And look, yeah, I was telling you guys, the button to open and uh, unlock the doors is actually from this side. Usually it's next to the lock button. The No, where you put your key and unlock and lock the car. And, but you, when you put your hand, it doesn't unlock. You have to press it again. But I mean, like, it really doesn't matter if you can press it and it unlocks. It's almost the same thing. And when you unlock and lock the car, see? The mirrors fold. Right now it's unlocked. And look, another camera right over there. Look at this. Look, the, the thing is so cool. Like, the turn signal uh, engraved into the mirror. Not one turn. Let me see. Look at that. It's so cool, like I can see every bit of it. And then as we move back, you have your window sticker over here. Final price is 80,000. 
Oh, I think you guys can see it, but it's 80,000. <laughs> the sun is almost falling and it. it's like, it's dark. It's 80,000. It's 79,360, so round it up to 80,000. A Wrangler is like, uh, like around 50 or 60,000, I think. And this is like 80,000. So, I mean, but it has so many luxurious features. And this, you guys might be thinking, what is this over the, like the window back there? It's like, it's, it says Land Rover over here. This is for when you want to put uh, your stairs. There's like there's like a stairs that come with the car. It's like a miniature stair thingy. You put it and it doesn't damage the glass and you can go up and put like your roof rack or something up there. And then as we move back, guys, look. Look at this taillight. Like, look, it's so like cube. It's so cool. Look, there's like one, two, three, four. Five, six, these things light up. Let me actually, I turn on the, press my button so I can, I turn on the, the, oh no, I have to start the car to do the turn signal. Let's see. Just the turn signal. All right, let's push. Look at this, come see this, come, just look at this. Look at that. That's so nice. Look, let me go a little bit more back. That, that looks so cool, guys. It's all like cues and like little circles in both of these. And both of them light up, so like all of the little pe all of little like dots inside light up. Let's turn off the clock. Oh, first you have to turn. Oh. Okay. Now we can close the door. Go see what other features we have in the back. There's a little cool feature I want to show you guys that no car has. Here you have your Defender. It's, it's a spare tire. Land Rover logo here. And you guys just saw those beautiful taillights, so I don't need to talk about them anymore. Here you have your lower like back bumper. Sensor over there. Let me actually put you guys here so you guys can see that cool feature. Where can I put you guys? Here, maybe? Oh no. You guys might fall over there. Hit your heads. I'll put you... All right, I think it'll work here. To unlock. No other car has this, guys. You have a high control. From the back, you control it from like the, the trunk. Look, the car's literally going down. Look how cool this is, guys. I can also make it higher. And it goes like really high. I mean, not really high, but for this car, it goes high here, you guys can see. Look how high it's going. Now I press it one more time. So the front also goes up. Look how high this thing went. Look how high it is. Actually, let me guys grab, grab you guys so you can see there's also other features in the back here. I mean, not features, but let me show you guys how you open this door, actually. It's pretty cool. Let me put the key in my pocket first. There we go. Let's close it. All right, so look. Uh, it's a door. Look, it's so like brutal. This car is brutal. Here you have the. Let's see. Here, no, this, uh, we don't need to mess with this. Like something. Um, and then, look here. This is where you control the high control for the car. It has air suspension, so that's cool. And then over here you have a 12 volt. So when you're, I don't know, pumping up your wheel, if you got a spare tire, I mean, you can use that one in the back over here. Guys, guys, you have AC back here. AC, it literally blows from there. See that vent over there. And uh, um, this doesn't have a third row. There's also, this one is the 100. Uh, this is, here, let me show you this. Look, this is the P400HSE. There's also, uh, there's also, this is the 110. There's also a 90 and the 90 is a two door, but this is the 110, so it's a four door. It's so like luxurious. I am, I've fallen in love with this car, guys. 
here down here is like a cargo thing. Oh, it's too heavy. Let's close it. All right, there we go. Let's close this door and we can go up and actually see what we have. What's powering this Land Rover Defender P400? And then we can go to the most interesting part, the interior. It's actually pop it. Here we go. But still, guys, I have to put you on the floor to open it. Okay, I'm sorry. So. Okay. And the cool thing is it has a shock, so it doesn't like fall down on your head or something. Here, it's, it's like a plastic cover, but I mean, it literally says Land Rover and Ingenium or something over there. And guys, under the hood of this um, 2020 Land Rover Defender, it's a three liter, six cylinder engine. And guys, guess how many horses it's producing? Guys, it's literally producing like 395 horsepower, 406 pound feet of torque. And, but look, I mean, you can like almost see like half of it if the plastic cover up wasn't there. And it's all controlled from that stick shifting six, eight speed automatic. I was about to say <laughs> six speed. Let's close the engine. Most interesting part of this car, interior, finally. So here on the door panel, I like how it's brew. Like you have like screws that actually didn't cover up the screws. And I like that. I really, really like that, that the screws are there. Here is your um, blind spot monitor. It's not on the mirror, it's actually here. I mean, it would be better if it was here, but there's a nice Meridian speaker over here. Meridian, see, over there too. And I like how it's almost like a white interior. It's like two-tone black, white. And then here you have like a storage almost, but the big storage is over here. And here is all your window controls and everything. You have M1, M2, and three. Three memory seats, not two. Usually other cars are two, but this one is three. So that's actually another cool feature. Unlock, lock, and we can actually sit into the Defender. See all of the cool features. I'm so excited about the interior. Here you have your button for the e-brake. Parking brake. So let's close up the door. Like a lot of like places where it says Defender. Like there's even a Defender over here. Nice material over here. USB-C over there. But there, I mean, there's one USB-C type C over there. But there's one in the whole car. But I mean, I'm not saying it's bad. There's at least one. That's good. That's really good that there's at least one. Let me put you guys here for a second. My hat is almost falling off. Let's see. All right, let's actually start the car so I can show you every, every little detail this car has. So, let's actually turn off the volume. Sorry. Okay. Oh, my ventilated seat is turned on, that's why. Like, what is that? There we go. So here guys, here is the steering wheel and I like it so brutal. You look defender and I like how it's like circle and like these pieces. This is like hard material. It's like white. And over here on the left side controls your hands-free link and when you click it once, look, it actually takes you, it puts you like there was a button here and now it's over here. But it's you have to press it in. And this car also has heads up display, look. If you guys can see it next to the lamppost over there. It just shows that we're in park and it shows how fast we're going, but we're going zero. I'm not 16 yet, so we can't go over zero. <laughs> and then here, yeah, is the hands-free link. And then, well, you see the defender and move a little bit right. Here you have your, this is the lane departure. And then you have your units from the car in front of you, heated seats. And you have, um, here, set one and two. And then this is the cruise control guys, our cruise control. Here see it turns green when I the lane departure when I press it. Here's the engine start and stop button. Here you see we got more screws over there. Let me just show you guys the screen. It's all digital, that's so cool. And here you have 1030 and I like how the Range Rovers they usually 
it goes by like 10, 30, 50, 70. It doesn't go like 0, 20, 40. It's odd numbers. I don't know why. Like, it's different from any other car, and I like it. I don't like how they, like, it's not like any other car. It's a unique car. Shows the fuel down there. And this car has 17 miles, if you guys see up there. And then you, it shows that we're in park. I turn on the e brake because I want to show you guys all the, the set, the, I keep forgetting the words, the the backup cameras. Not only the backup cameras, all of the cameras on this car. And the camera was actually in the shark fin back there. Let me guys show you. Go. You guys might not see it, but I'm gonna hold it up. It's in there. It's actually a nice and brutal sound. Here, let me rev it a little bit. Pretty brutal, guys. It matches this Defender. I love that name, Defender. It's so high. The car is so high that I literally have to like Here, here, this is your shifter. Let me actually put it into the reverse. Reverse. Here, look. Look, there's so there are so many. Look, you have trajectory, which is really cool. Here, let me. You guys see it when I move the steering wheel? It moves, and there's also trajectory on the 360 view. Let me put it back into normal. All right, here, see. Look, look the different like views. See, I told you guys, there's so many here. There's off road, and that's like the coolest. I can like walk, see which wheel. We can go to towing, and you can't see much in towing. It just shows you like over here the trajectory, just the same as on road. And then we can actually put it in a park. Like let me, let me put it in, and put it in drive, so you guys can see. See in reverse. Press one button, put yourself in park. How cool is that? And here, and look, guys, look. See, it says park up there. When I put it in reverse, it takes it off. Put it in park. Automatically, um, puts it puts it into the e-brake. It pulls the e-brake for you guys. Let me actually show you guys the settings over here. We'll play around with the settings and then we'll go and see what we have over here. So when we go to the settings here, you press this button. It brings up accounts, seats, climate, towing, and trailers. Let me show you guys seats first of all. See, my, um, right now it's on ventilated. I can put it on heat. He, this three is the hottest you can do it. And I can put it on negative three, which is the ventilated. And guys, I'm just so happy I'm reviewing this card today. And I can put it to zero, which is like, I don't want it too hot and I don't want it too cold. Stay neutral. Just put it yourself in neutral. Here, and then I can actually turn it off. That, there's like a on and off button. And then here I, look, guys, the passenger has heated and ventilated. The people in the rear have heated and you control it from here, guys. It's so cool. See, I can turn on the passenger, heat it all the way up. And then negative three. I can turn it off, we don't want, but I actually want mine to go ventilated. Let's turn it on. So, it's so hot today, guys. It's like, it was gonna be like 70, like 69 or 70 degrees today. And then here, you go to rear, and see, I accidentally put it on all the way hot for the rear, and I can turn it off, but there's no ventilated, see? I, can, I can't go down then one, just, but it goes all the way up to three, so. And then when you're when when it's cold, your your kids will be like, Dad, can I um um I wanna um heat my seat and you, you, the dad just puts it in the heat and it's cool. Here we can go to menu again. Press the button over there for the apps. Here you have climate, towing and trailers, cameras. The most the coolest feature from the, the cameras. Look, look guys. Look, it shows that the door is open. Put my window down. Look at my hand, guys, it's, here, look. Look, my hand. Let me find where I can put it. Oh, there. You see my hand, guys? Oh, I'm about to carry the Land Rover Defender and throw it up. <laughs> I'm just joking. Let's close the window, automatic. Close the windows. So, and then here, guys, look. Let me put it on, on road. Put it on this one so you guys can see the. How did you? Guys, look. You see the wheel? That's the wheel. 
And when I move the steering wheel, look at the wheel. Look at the animations. It, it literally moves the steering wheel. See? There's, there's like more than 10, 10 like ways for the, look, here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, here. So, first one is that one when it shows from like the left, left side of the front, and then we can go here. And when I move the steering wheel again on the front, the front wheel moves. This is for like parking. This is, helps you a lot with parking. We can go all the way to the, what did I press? Cameras. All right. Oh, this is the all the way in the back. You guys can see the spare tire back there. And you and we can also go to this one, which shows from like the left side of the front and then the right side of the front, the back. These are all from the back, and you have one from this side. So from the steering wheel again, the anim. But look, I wish I could show me in here. It would be so cool. But I mean, you guys can see the other camera over there. And talking about camera, we actually to turn that camera off when we went to the interior. Oh, it's so like so high that, bye bye. Oh, let's jump. It's so high in the car. All right, let's turn it off. Okay, yeah, I was talking about the cameras when I <laughs> remembered to turn off the camera. See, I can go to like this way. It's so cool, there are so many, you can see Look, our 22, our 20 inch wheels with the huge calipers, but you can't see the calipers. And we can also go to off-road here. It shows like the wheels. If I go on a huge rock, it shows that this wheel goes up. And then towing here also, it just shows from the top. So here, I can, let's see if it'll show my hand. Oh, my hand. <laughs> it still shows my hand. Okay. And then we can just go to menu and play around with the other features. We were cameras, valet mode, you guys already know what that is. Eco data, 4x4i, weight sensing. If you guys don't know what weight is, when you, you can go in like a, like a river, but not too high because there's actually a weight sensor, look. You can go to 0 0.8 meters and there's a sensor. So if I go like almost to the headlights, it shows that like stop, stop, you can't go that much. It's 2.7 feet, you can change it to meters to feet here. Let me show you guys. Weight sensing and then 4x4 info. See? It shows like the altitude on the car. See if I go up a rock. There, there's like so many like cool features. And then we can go back to menu and see the other features. Low traction launch. It's almost like launch control. To activate, ensure the following vehicle stationary. Foot off the accelerator and then activate it. <laughs> Start low traction launch. It's basically like a traction control that we can do. I don't want to do it. I'm not 16 years old. I can't launch the car. All right. And I think that was all from the modes. Vehicle dimensions and voice here. Let me show you guys the modes on this car. So there's a button over here. Yes. Yeah, so. Look, you, there, look, there's so many. Look, there's eco. Look at the animations. Comfort. And then you have grass, gravel, and snow. Mud ruts. Next one is sand, rock crawl, and wade. That's the one where you go into the water. There's, there's like no sport mode in the car, actually. The only sport mode is probably like when you put it in um, comfort. And also the low traction lunge that I was, I, was, I was playing around with. Let me show you guys here. This is the button, so when you're going down a hill, it makes you do it safely. You have A off over here. You guys already know it. And guys, this, you can also control the um, air suspension from here. Let's make the car go down. But I like it when it goes up, the car goes up. I'm just, I am just want to keep it on up. It's so cool when the car is that high. Oh my God, I can literally feel it going up. Oh. I can feel the front wheels. <laughs> all right, and then here you have all your climbing controls. Nothing over here too interesting. Here, traction control, and then these are like the low. This is the the neutral neutral to engage low range. This is the, see, low range. I can put it in neutral. But I, I don't want to play around with it. Let's put it into park. All right. 
We don't need to play around with any of that. All right, USB-C Type-C, a USB 12 volt over there. Lots and lots of storage here. And look over here. Look, I put my hand through there and now it's there. USB-C Type-C over there. I like how there's like handles like on the back. Let's move to the back after I show you guys that there's like a, you can put your phone, it charges it here. And when there's a feature, uh, feature that there's refrigerator in here, but this one doesn't have it. There's like a button that turns it on. It's a pretty deep, like I have it in my hand, you know. So, let's go to the back. Yeah, I turned it up. Now it goes to the back. Oh. oh, I love how it's so high. The car, like the air suspension makes it really high. Why is it not unlocking? I don't, why is the, look, the back door is not unlocking. I don't know why. It's actually unlock on oh, now. All right, now let's close this door actually. I don't know why I wasn't working. I literally pressed the button like three times. Here are the Meridian sound system, the speakers over here. I don't know why there's like a, the, <laughs> there's a, from the back you can see. The blind spot monitor on the back. I don't know why, some nice screws again on the back. Let's actually jump in again. It's so hard to get in, but it's it's comfortable when you get in. And I actually want to stay in here right now. Here, climbing controls, everything over there. And then you have the as I told you guys, the heated seats, no ventilated. It would be really cool. That would just be. Remember when I showed you guys the key that there was no remote starter? That's one, and the ventilated seats is two. But I mean, heated seats. That's really really good. Here is there's like if you want to put screens in here like TVs you can put it from there. Here is a, a charger over there, 12 volt. Here you have a, a, a 12 volt. No, this was a USB. This is a 12 volt and a USB, USB, 12 volt. So probably one 12 volt for the person sitting here, one for there, and then I don't know why there's four of those. Common controls is over from over there. And here, this is the handles I was talking about. You just press it and uh, like jump into this car. And I like how there's a panoramic sunroof. When you start the car, the the thing goes and it comes back too. And here, guys, is the there's like a like sun falls through here. It's actually pretty cool, but like it's bad that if you don't want it to fall into your eyes, that's the only bad thing. You have a light over here, and I like how the nice leather seats too. Look at this. And uh, the floor mats are like, like the ones for like off-season floor mats to go off-roading. So when, when your like uh, shoes are dirty, like m they're all mud, you just come in here, and it's nice. It's not like no other material. It's like a floor mat, nice floor mats. Here you have your cups to put, armrest there too. And see, there's also the like the thing I was talking about where the sun can fall. It's like a, it's like a sunroof, but it's a, it's not on the roof. It's actually. Sun, it's from the side, sun side. <laughs> Let me close the door. And we have to end the video there. So guys, please subscribe to my channel if you're new. Smash that like button and turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss another one of my videos.